Hello and welcome to Brush Strokes by Kim. I'm Kimberly Ferguson and today I am working with gouache on cold press watercolor paper. Um, cold press cotton paper actually. Um, so I started with this leaf. I wasn't totally sure about what I was going to do with this painting but the leaf that I drew looked like a bamboo leaf so I decided to work off of that and paint a couple of sticks of bamboo. Um, this is different from what I have been making lately. Uh, I wanted to practice uh, some more realistic paintings because, you know, I just think it's important to practice things that you're not as comfortable with. Um, so for me, that's uh, realism. I mean, I I think I think I'm okay at it, but I just think that I just think that I I don't have as much confidence in my abilities um, for realistic art um, without like aids. When I say aids, I'm not using a reference for this. I'm using my imagination um, and memory. Um, and yeah, like I, sometimes I just, I don't have the patience to, you know, find a, a source image or use like a light box. And I just want to get to painting. So I, that's what I did here. Um, bamboo, you know, it's a relatively simple shape, uh, you know, cylindrical with leaves sticking out. Um, but I just wanted to do something different from what I usually do. Um, yeah, so just making the sticks of bamboo and later on with this painting I add in a background uh, just a simple <clears throat> a simple reddish orange salmon colored background a coral um, just because I wanted to do a color that was modern but also complementary to the green I have here and also what you'll see later uh, once I finish this up I oh actually no what you'll see later is um, I add in a dark outline I wanted to do a I mean well from far away it looks black but the color is actually a dark brown like a sort of coffee or chocolate color um, because I just learned I didn't just learn it um, I just remember from when I was in school my art teacher told me that sometimes blacks can be a bit flat and okay, so here I am. I'm getting ready to do the uh, orange colored background. But um, anyway, blacks can be flat looking. Um, and it also with gouache, this is a matte medium. So it can, things can look flat anyway. So I decided to use a dark brown instead of like a neutral black so it just has a little bit of warmth okay so here I am adding in the salmon colored background it's not a realistic background it is you know a um, uh, I guess like a contemporary or simplified background I guess you can call it 
Um, I just love the combination of the complementary colors. And yes, so I'm just getting the best angle of the paper to make it easier for me to paint. And yeah, so we can just continue watching. And uh, then I'll just come back in if there needs to be more said. Okay, so I just wanted to experiment with this video um, to um, add in sort of like peaceful music. Um, I'm just experimenting with different types of filmmaking and uh, I feel like I don't know I just I feel like art can be very relaxing and therapeutic so I want to add in some music that is peaceful and relaxing and you know since this is a nature painting I want to do something that is like in the nature sound like I don't know if I can find some wind blowing and birds chirping I think that would be a really nice addition to this video okay so you'll see in a moment if I <laughs> am able to do that okay I wanted to let you know that I decided to do the outline of the, not the outline, what do you call this, the um, border of the painting to be here, not all the way to the edges, because I, I pre-mixed the paint. Um, I mixed it on the side, I made a lot of it, and I was starting to run out, so I decided to um, not go all the way to the edge because I didn't want to have to remix it and get it to go uh, just to just to have it on the edge and then risk it not being the same color so here I am I have I experimented with making shorts on YouTube and that was just my phone I was filming as I paint um, for me, I don't know, like, I may change that. Like, I I don't want to feel like I'm chasing the algorithm. Um, I experimented by making five shorts uh, for a week. Uh, they were easy to make, but they weren't driving traffic to my longer format videos. They weren't really driving any traffic at all. They were just getting views and some likes, but not actually, you know, bringing people to watch the videos that I make. Um, so I've taken a back seat on that. Uh, I may come back to it, but currently, like we're at the at the moment, I'm not. Um, 
and also filming while I paint I don't know like I feel like there's a little bit more pressure on me to produce something that is likable and also um, something that I don't know like I know will look good I know it sounds kind of, it kind of sounds silly now that I say it but I I don't know it's just like when you know like you're being filmed like you just don't have the same freedom of experimentation so I don't know if I, I mean I'll see how I feel later on if I want to continue doing these type of these type of like camera over my shoulder uh, types of films uh, but yeah basically the whole camera over my shoulder I felt like it was kind of restricting my creativity a little bit and maybe that's just me uh, being hard on myself or just like I don't know it's still hard for me to just free up myself on camera uh, when I'm painting. Like, I don't know, just last week I made like, I don't know, five paintings that I didn't film because I was just like, I was feeling like this too much pressure, <laughs> too much pressure on my art for it to, you know, whatever. But um, anyway. So here I am, I am painting in the outlines. Uh, it takes, it took me a long time to do this because I, uh, I'm using cold press paper and I think that it would have been much smoother for me to do these outlines if I was using hot press paper. So. Hot press paper is smooth and the cold press paper is uh, very textured. Uh, it works well for watercolor, but I think the, like for, I don't know if you can tell, but it was just very difficult to uh, get like a smooth line because <laughs> it was just, the paint was getting into the little, little dips in the paper. But it's, I think it still came out very nice in the end. Yeah. Yeah, I'd also have to dip the paint in the paint quite frequently. Um, and it's like, I don't know if it's because of the paintbrush I was using and the paper I think I think it was a combination of all of all of the above I think it was all of the above um, yeah okay so I'll just come back in the end later Okay, so here I made a mistake there, but fortunately with gouache, um, you can correct mistakes because of how opaque and matte the paint is. So I just let it left it there while I was painting and uh, let it dry, and then I went back in later to... Uh, fix it up.
that. So the best way that I thought to fix it up was sort of like how was sort of like how like a person would do makeup like you can do like color correcting and concealing so I just put a little bit of white paint to sort of cancel out the black and then I added in the red color to um, added in the red color, the leftover red to uh, cover it up again. Um, and I think it came out really well. So I was just going very lightly. My brush wasn't too wet. It was pretty dry. And I just sort of dotted it over the area. And the finished results, I think they came out pretty well. Uh, if this were regular watercolor, I don't know if this would have worked um, as well. And uh, I'm just taking a, a dry paintbrush to just sort of lift up any excess water. And I'm just going again with a slightly dry paintbrush with paint. Okay, and I'm just filling in areas that I may have missed, you know, a little, but I, I did leave some areas because I do like the dry brush look. All right, so I believe this is the point where I start my, I just write my initials, yeah. And that's that. And this is the finished painting. So uh, for more of my art, you can visit my website, KimberlyFerguson.net, or my Instagram, at Brushstrokes by Kim. Thank you for watching.